Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is day two of planting the Walnut Bluff. I don't know how well this showed last time. Just a little sketch of that area. It's kind of shaped like an ice cream cone. Yesterday I got the, the prairie smoke mixed with purple prairie clover. Got that planted and the bottle brush grass, which is behind the big walnut tree. Now I need to do a chunk right here of drop seed, which is prairie drop seed, uh, a very small grass. So. This, this ends up being like a three foot clump of grass. So, you know, I don't wanna put too much seed there, but it's hard to disperse evenly. So I'm gonna mix it with probably about a half a bag of vermiculite. And again, this is purple prairie clover. I'm gonna throw some of that in there as well. So with the very small seeds like that, I'm gonna probably cut this bag in half and this only needs a tiny bit. And then mix it with a half a bag of vermiculite and go out and throw that. The wavy hair grass, which I have marked here, I only have a little bit of, I only have the four plants. So I'm just gonna keep that area knocked back until I can get more seed. I don't want to plant anything there for now. So, and then side oats, grandma, along the whole front. That's going to be hard to plant, um, but I'll do my best. You know, it's a narrow ridge and there's a fence right there, so I'll have to plant it from the other side of the fence because the ladies put the, the string back up so we can move the horses there in a couple days. So. I'll do what I can. I don't know how much I'll be able to film today because I have a ton to do and I gotta get it done fast. We have yet again a track meet tonight. This is a makeup. The school that we're going to is along the Kickapoo River. Uh, long story on the name. It, it just means uh, like really bendy river. It's the most bendy river in the world, I believe. It just zigzags back and forth. But anyways, it flooded, which it does damn near every year. And the school had to postpone the track meet. So it's a makeup meet. We got three of them this week. So I got really got a rush to get stuff done. I already did my bale garden and sprayed uh, 2,4-D in the little blue stem prairie patch that's um that was planted last year and what else did i get done i got a bunch of little stuff done already and i gotta get this done and then i gotta spray uh, a couple tanks full of glyphosate down it's a little breezy so i'm trying not to stand in the doorway where it'll mess with the camera i gotta get some gly uh, good breeze coming through well I got to get some glyphosate sprayed down by the big oaks back there got a lot of little stuff growing up so I'm gonna get these seeds mixed up and head over and start planting okay I had to go in the house and mix this up because they're so little dump them all over the place out here but that is prairie drop seed and the purple pur purple prairie clover just a little bit you know maybe a half a gram of the clover and an eighth of an ounce of the prairie drop seed and i think that's way too much but it is what it is you know i i'm hoping some of them grow the size that they get to uh, the area that's going to be planted would probably only take 20 plants, tops. 
but with a good amount of seed like this I'm hoping most of them or I'm hoping to at least fill the area Okay, time to toss some seed. Here is the prairie drop seed plot. I still will need to, once anything starts coming up, like right through here, that is like the only way down other than all the way over there or going down and around over here. There's like a natural stairway right there, which I would like to put a few more rocks in there so it's an actual stairway. So when stuff starts growing here, I will have to clear a path going through here. I can't walk in this stuff yet until I drop the seed. Otherwise I will flatten out the surface and I don't want that. And I also need to make a trail I don't know, I can probably use part of that other trail or just use that other trail. But right here is pretty much the beginning of the exposed bluff here. And then you can see it if you come through here. My daughter's little old fort all overgrown. You can see it right there and you can see this this cedar tree growing on top of it and then this goes all the way around and past the uh, Bigfoot tree it's it's really exposed down that way so I would like to have a trail going the entire this entire distance just a nice little walking trail hi kitty Okay, I better get this seed in. I gotta walk with the wind at my back. Well, you can kind of see. I'll show you this right away. You can kind of see where... You can kind of see where this is the only way down other than jumping off the cliff or building something to do or building something to get down. So. I'll just put a couple steps here and then it's then it's just a, a path and where we have the two T posts close together that's going to be a gate. So we've had it set up for that for a long time. But we haven't had anything growing in here besides invasive species, weeds and whatnot. Little unwanted trees. So wind at my back, which it kind of is right now. We got a wind coming from the due north, so I'm going to have to go side to side and work my way up to the top. 
you have the wind at your back so that uh, your seeds uh, drop in front of you. The windier it is, the closer you got to get to the ground. It's kind of a pain in the butt. This is our new cat. So I got two cats that follow me around and stand on my feet. I don't know what the heck it is with standing on your feet. This one so far does not jump on my shoulders, but who knows, that might be coming. Okay, let's get planting. That's about it. The prairie drop seed is planted. I was going to get that side oats planted along the ridge there, but that's going to have to wait till next time. I went a little too long on the last one. And now I got to make up some of my day job work. So I wanted to take a look right down here. Yeah, you can barely see the bluff right there. I gotta get rid of, there's like two dead trees and then just a giant tangle of hawthorn, which is a uh, invasive species. So I'll have to cut that out, come right through here with the trail, and then it begins again right through there. So just clear out well this is going to be cleared out anyways but just make it easy to walk on so it's not on an angle just take a little scoop of dirt and move it over a little bit and make a nice walking trail as soon as you do that deer will go on it as well they like to take the easy way yeah we got some pretty nice rocks up here but I do believe all of this stuff was from when they built the road. They had to, uh, I don't know if they had to dynamite, but they at least had to jackhammer through this same cliff goes right through the road over there. And they had to jack it to get the road down lower. Had to take quite a bit of rock out. This was all just sitting here and all over the place we had our the guy who put the road in for us moved these out of the woods. They were just laying right in here. This is all natural bluffs, but this stuff was from making the road. Okay, enough jibber-jabber. That'll do it for today. Hopefully within a couple of weeks we'll have prairie drop seed, some clover, and especially that prairie smoke. I'm going to guess that's going to take two weeks. I'm going to guess this takes at least two weeks to come up. So if you want to see that stuff, make sure you subscribe. Click on the update icon so you receive notice when I post the new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.